Okay. The cost of wrapped snacks increased from $2.50 to $2.80. The percent increase to the $2.80 rate was how much? Okay, so who in the hell spends that much on some wrapped snacks? All right, so it increased from $2.50 to $2.80. The percent increase, that's what we're looking for, to the $2.80 was how much? All right, so what we want to do is to, to, to find a percent increase from this, I'm going to need to know the difference of this, okay? So to get from here to here, how much is that, okay? So what I mean is $2.80 minus $2.50, okay? Zero minus zero is zero. Eight minus five is three. Bring down the decimal point. Two minus two is zero, and we have our dollar sign there. Okay, we have a 30 cents difference. Okay, that's gonna be important. Now, I wanna know the percent increase from that to that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the 30 cents and divide it by that, and that'll give me a percentage, okay? Now, I have the $2.50, and then I have the 30 cents in the inside. Okay, so you could see it, I could see it. That's too small, okay? You have a, a small number divided by a big number, that's not gonna help us out. We don't have a calculator, okay? So we gotta do some finesse. All right, so I'm gonna multiply this times 100, and I'm gonna multiply this times 100, okay? Now remember, when I multiply anything times 10, it moves the decimal, well, when I multiply these, this one right here by 10, it'll move it one time to the right. And if I multiply it times 100, it'll move it two times to the right. And that's the same thing with this. You move it one, two times, okay? So that's gonna give us $250 on the outside, and on the inside, it's gonna give us $30, okay? It still looks kind of weird, but we can get it from here. Okay, so now I can have, like I said, this on the outside, the 250. And then on the inside, I'm gonna have that $30. Okay, so it's $30 divided by 250. Now, isn't $30, $30, isn't that the same thing? I think it is, right? It's just a decimal point. But we can treat it like we're dividing 300 divided by 250, okay? If we divide 300 divided by 250, well, 250 goes into 300 once, right? One times 250 is gonna be 250. All right. And then we could just drop that decimal point here. And if we drop it there, it's gonna come up here too as well. Okay, we're gonna subtract that. 300 minus 250, that's 50. Okay, well, quote unquote 50, but we're still dropping our decimal point. Okay, now, is 30, is that 30 that was 30, but isn't that still 30? It, it looks like it's 30 to me. still has a decimal point there. I can add zeros forever if I wanted to, and it'll still be 30. Okay, so if I add a zero right there, I'm going to drop it right here too. Okay, so we're going to treat this like 500. How many times does 250 go into 500? It goes into it twice because two times 250 is 500. So we'll put a two there. Two times 250 is going to give me the 500. You take 500 from 500 and you get a zero. Okay? And it looks like D is the answer. All right? Now, you're going to have to hear me ramble, but just in case you wondered, when you divide, when you, when you take 300, or in this case it was 30, and divided by 250 and you have dollars, Okay, this is written like this, 300, well, it's 30, but it's 300, divided by 250, well, yeah, 250. Okay, it's not really important what it says, but whenever you divide units, the units cancel, okay? And that's why you'd be left with a percent. Just some side work, just some side notes for you to get a better understanding of this.